This is an introduction to audio recording and playback on Android and iOS with Delphi XE5. On our application, we have two images overlaying each other. The top image shows recording, where the bottom image shows not recording. Let's take a look at recording audio. First thing is we make sure we're not currently playing by calling the play button click event. Then we go to the T Capture Device Manager and get the current default audio capture device. If we have a reference to that, then we go ahead and use it. And in this case, we use the Android code. We set the file name to the home path and test.3gp, 3gp being the preferred audio recording format on Android. Then we start the capture and we set the visibility of the record image to true. If we're unable to find a microphone, then we display a message to the user telling them such. Behind the stop button, we check to see if the microphone is assigned. If it is, and its state is capturing, then we tell it to stop capture, and we set the visibility of the record image to false. Up here at the top for playback, for play, we first of all make sure we're not recording, then we use the T Media Player component. Set the home path to the test.3gp file we used before, and if that media player is assigned, and it has media, then we tell it to play. Behind the stop button, if the media player is assigned that we constructed in the play button, and it has media, we tell it to stop. Here is running on the Nexus 7. We hit start recording. This audio was recorded with Delphi XE5. We stopped the recording. Now we're going to end playback. And it plays back exactly like it was recorded. To record and playback audio on iOS, simply change the target of your project to an iOS device. When you run it, it'll look a little something like this. Unfortunately, it does not work in the simulator because the simulator does not have a microphone. This was an introduction to audio recording and playback on Android and iOS with Delphi XE5.